Great, what are we doing today, Sadie? Today is St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so we obviously have to have some beer today for some reason. Okay. Okay, what do we got going on today? All right, so I'm going to review for Beer of the Week, and this is going to be a three for one deal. I'm going to review Guinness Stout Draft. Okay, we reviewed Guinness Extra Stout a while back. Today we're going to review Guinness Draft Stout in a collector's edition bottle. I've already had this, okay? Guinness Special Edition bottle. Our legendary Guinness Draft Stout in a collectible bottle celebrating the famed Guinness campaigns of the 1930s and 50s. See if we can't get this on here. This is the collector bottle. Okay. It seems a bit cheesy because it's just a plastic covering that goes over the whole bottle. If it was a collector's bottle, I would think that you would do like engraving into the actual bottle. Kind of make it more of a permanent mainstay. But whatever. That's just my personal opinion. All right, Sadie. Sadie's over there somewhere. We're out in the middle of the woods. Why are we out in the middle of the woods? Because I wanted to review this. Okay, I've got two items here. Two items here to review. I think this is pronounced Ente. Ente. It's a hammock. I received this hammock for a Christmas gift, like a dirty Santa. We had like a dirty Santa thing. Uh, it wasn't this year, it was the year before, okay? So I received this hammock by luck of the draw of the dirty Santa. I ended up, fate made me end up with this hammock, okay? And I just got around to trying it out not too long ago, almost two years later. Then on top of that, I picked up this Fox Ellie. I'm going to pronounce it Fox Ellie. Outdoor gear. Fox Ellie. Outdoor gear. Okay. These are something I picked up to coincide with this. These are hammock straps. This comes with some generic cording, like some thick, almost paracording, kind of generic that works but it's not as good it's just it's just cord nothing to it just cord you're gonna have to know your knots and all that stuff to make it work these are kind of like ratchet straps okay so I'm gonna show you these these were about $13 these were about $13 on Amazon this as far as I can tell I found it on eBay for about $30 okay so this with this how fast can we get this hammock up I am about to show you there's multiple ways of doing this this is what the straps are for okay if I can figure out how to put a timer on here I will put a timer on here but Okay, on your mark. This is how fast you can set up a hammock in the wilderness, folks. On your mark, get set, go. Not real fast, just kind of fast. There's multiple ways of doing this. I'm gonna do it the way I do on this particular tree. Now, I've got branches to utilize, but you don't have to utilize branches. This thing can double wrap. See how far this strap is? You can double wrap this strap around a tree and it won't slip down the tree. Okay. Okay. Now there's 
athletes that could probably do this a lot quicker. I'm not an athlete. I'm just gonna guesstimate, okay? Guesstimate. I did hook this up yesterday, but I came out here and took me a little cat nap for about half an hour and did some photography. Hey, you want me to throw you back? That looks like it might be a little bit high, but whatever. Just like that, folks. And it's got individual loops. The Fox Alley has individual loops, so you can change the whatever angle of the hammock you want to make it comfortable. Okay? So there was, uh, I did some hiking yesterday or the day before yesterday out on public land, public hunting land, okay? There's like thousands of acres around us where if you wanna just walk it, hike it, whatever, you just gotta be mindful of hunters uh, during hunting season. Yesterday, I think started turkey season. So I wore an orange vest just out, even though there was no cars there, I didn't see anybody out where I was at. I actually saw two turkeys while I was out and a couple deer. Uh, I just went out to hike and do some photography, okay? So, I should have brought this. I wish I would have brought this. There was a nice spot up on a ridge that overlooked the valley, and you could see tons. You could see a lot. That would be a good spot to set up. You could take a nap. You could sit in your hammock like a chair uh, and just wait for a wildlife to come through this one spot. I saw a couple turkeys. I kind of spooked them off because I walked up on them, but had I been sitting up there just minding my own business, they might, might not have seen me. So, this is pretty cool setup. The hammock, I'm going to give five stars out of five. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot better ones. There's ones that come with, uh, come with mosquito nets. Come summertime, you're going to want a mosquito net. This does not. I don't know if there's any way to hook a mosquito net up to this. And the straps, the straps are real cool. You see how fast so I put that up. And I'm not the fastest person in the world. So, good stuff. So I'm going to leave this hammock up. And probably later on tonight before it gets dark, I may come out here and sit with my camera and see if there's any wildlife that comes out here on my property. Like deer or whatever. Okay? Now then. Let's review the extra, let's review the collector bottle stout draft. Even though I've already reviewed the extra stout and it was excellent. We gave it a high rating. Okay. Let's see if I can get out of here without flipping. How you doing, dum dum? All right, Guinness Stout, Guinness Drought Stout, and their commemorative bottle, okay? I've had this, it's good, to me. Other folks may not think so. I'd rather have this than IPA. Out in the woods on St. Patrick's Day in a hammock. Let's see how this goes. There goes my Gerber. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Brewed in Ireland by Guinness and Company, St. James Gate, Dublin 8, Ireland. Brewers of distinction since 1759. 
imported by Diego Beer Company USA, Norwalk, Connecticut. Visit Guinness.com for offers, downloads, and Guinness Web Store. Beer, drink responsibly. Enjoy chilled. Straight from the bottle. I got something on my nose or something. Okay, not sure on alcohol content and all that. You can look it up. Anyhow, one of my favorite beers. Nice setting. Can't get much better than this. Let's see if I can get myself hooked up here without dumping this over. There we go. There we go. Sadie, you want to give this a try? Let the viewers know what you think. Come here. Okay, don't dink it off the ground. That's nasty. You're not wearing any green today. Yep, I pinched you. You can't pinch me back. I've got green underwear on. Good girl. So there you have it, folks. Three for one. Good beer. Good hammock. Good hammock straps. If you're an outdoorsman or whatever, you could be like my father. He works outside. Constantly hiking through woods and uh, areas. This would be good for somebody like that. That during their lunch break wanted to take a little siesta. Throw this up however long it took. Okay. Take you a little nap. Just relax. Put it back in the bag. Go about your business. Photographers. Good stuff, I think. Okay. I'm going to try it out a little later. Uh, yesterday, I came out here and tried it out. I got some good shots on some robins. Thousands of robins out here. After I sat in it for about five minutes, they acted like I wasn't even here anymore. They could care less. Okay. So, probably good for photography. Um, any outdoors. Uh, if you're a runner, whatever. You're doing some off-road trails. Uh, mountain biking, whatever. Take this with you. Kayaker. Uh, my buddy does kayaking. He takes his with his. Um, get you get you a hammock. Very comfortable. Very quick to set up. Don't have to put any hooks in the trees. Okay. So everything today, out of ten stars, everything gets ten out of ten. Thanks for watching.